G'day there, I'm Bob from Paradise. Uh, I think actually, we don't need these, so I'll just put this on in sympathy for those people who need to have them on at the moment. They're out to outside and don't need them now. I'm Bob from Paradise. They've been here for over 30 years now. We've got quite a few plants around the place that we'd like to show you, so we're going to do a uh, walkthrough every three weeks. Um, today we're going to focus on ferns, and uh, so we'll just go up here and uh, start looking, see what we can find. It's just sort of, we're just ad-libbing as we go. So we're not actually trying to um, sell you anything. If, if we go, something would be on our, on our latest catalogue, which comes out tonight. We'll just go up here. Let's go up here and go up to the top fernery and have a bit of a look. Oh, here's our friend here. We're going to follow us. As we walk past here. These are our diabetes plants. So this is the uh, that come back in. So we'll see you about them later, but so they're going to be in, in tonight's catalogue. So just follow me down. And we'll go into our top fernery. We've got about 16 sections like this, so we can show you bit by bit. Okay, so today we're focusing on ferns and uh, there's a lot of different types of ferns and we do uh, quite a few of them so we go from tree ferns down to these little fellas maiden air ferns um, that's one called adiantum ethiopicum um, we're not actually doing this one at the moment but um, you, with ferns you'll find that there's three different ways that they uh, propagate themselves that's by spore or by division, or the other, the other way is um, by rhizome. So you can cut off a bit of rhizome and, and pro propagate them that way. That way. So maiden hairs, um, which are probably the most popular of all ferns, and especially uh, there's a few that, that we do that never stop selling. Uh, Lady Moxon's one of them. I haven't actually got one um, down here. They're up in the in our packing shed, but uh, they get spore underneath and you have to propagate them. You really need a specialist uh, to do that, a spore grower. So that's so that that's um, Adiantum ethiopicum. Here's a maiden ear here. This is a variegated one. It's got very fine variegations. It's Adiantum tenum. When I tell you these botanical names, it's the only way you can really identify a plant by using the genus and the species. Um, it's it's like um, Beverly walnut. There's lots of Beverly's, not many Beverly <laughs> walnuts. <laughs> These are a bit more precise. There's only, there's only a, one Adiantum tenorum. But then you do get varieties of them, and lots of different varieties. But it's, to completely identify a plant, you need the, the uh, genus, which is Adiantum, and the species, tenorum. And then you go off into varieties. So to really know what you're talking about, you need both of those. OK, so let's just walk down here a little bit. This is a this is a blechnum, blechnum oriental, and we send these out all all over Australia, um, all all of our ferns. Um, one day we'll show you how we uh, pack them, and um, we send them in their pots. We do not believe in bare rooting plants at all, and uh, so all the plants go in their pots. Um, like for seventeen or twenty dollars, you can get as many plants as you like from us for the freight. So um, we don't. So Ferns we send in uh, this size, this size pot, 100 millimetres across. When we talk about pot size, it's always the distance across the top of the pot. So that's 100 millimetres, which is four inches. And here's some, uh, this is another size pot. That's a 70 millimetre pot with that palm. Okay. So most of our plants go out in 70 or 75 millimetre, and ferns go out in 100 uh, millimetre. So we'll just walk along here and see. We'll just ignore the everything that's not a fern. This is one we were selling, sold out of, uh, it's a Sphenomeris, Sphenomeris fusana, love this plant, it's very soft, very droopy, and uh, very popular. So this is a, a native rasp fern, extremely popular, I don't know why, just some people buy it, but it's in a multi-fuse, so that's what you call the roof, and it's a native fern. So come down here a bit further. Actually, in the 
catalog that we're sending out tonight, I think we're sending it out tonight. Um, you see this one? Quite an unusual form. And uh, I'll come back to that when I remember its name. <laughs> There's names. Um, I just said, come back to her. What, what, there's an answer. Like a seal. Um, in fact, it's men. And you know, it's talking about the uh, story of the rose. And it's crazy. There was great concern on the rose. And over time, the spread slowly. Or whatever. And when, when the first one spread, it must have fallen far. And then we had a different one here. are very important in the plant world. Sometimes they're underground and with most of the thorns it's on top and you can actually cut a bit of that off and turn it another sort of way. You can get a rain blowing it through. That's why the uh, geranium will win. Uh, blue side. Which is very beautiful thorns. They get bigger and bigger, bigger and more rose and um, pretty hard to kill something like this because they've all, always got that starchy hair in there so it's a wee shooter. I have to cut all those thorns off and up at the shoot straight away. Really, really nice thing. Uh, we have enough on to sell more than we have. Um, we do a lot of selling. Uh, the radium will, will ruin that bit. This one will go down here. You can see we get a bit weak down there. Really big benefit to the rose on the top. And that's just where the rose is made. It's the only thing we want. Um, another one is the rose on. Is the gazelle. Cephalia jelly. I'm just sorry. Cephalia jelly. Here's the colour of the jelly. Uh, we've got a dioptera over here. What's this um, rock for? Um, they're just a strain, but they're going very quickly now. They'll actually be going out in the morning. In the catalogue. So by the time we start sending these out, they'll be quite a bit bigger. They're doing really well. Um, apparently getting no sound going through. I don't know if we've got sound going through or not. Um, we'll just have a look at it. Okay, try that now. Okay, I don't know how much <laughs> that you've heard. <laughs> um, but I, I'm assuming that you've heard all of it. Um, that you can uh, grow ferns. They can, they can hear now. That you can actually grow um, ferns either by spore, um, which is like the maiden hairs, or the clubodiums like this, where you can grow off the rhizome. And rhizomes are very important, not only in ferns, but in all plants and um, you can have rhizomes on top of the surface or rhizomes um, below the surface so um so i just um we'll walk down here to the next section this this is um so we don't have all our ferns here but we've, we've got a few just to, to show you these are some antioptus the king fern um they've just been potted up so they won't be ready for a couple of months but um yeah that's uh, actually grows into the world's biggest fern um, in the frond length. The fronds get to seven metres long. Um, yeah, so that's um, the king fern called Antiochus evecta. So that'll be that'll be coming up later on. We've got um, this is a really nice fern. Yeah, I'll cut this one here. It's called the lace fern, the Michaelopia stragosa. Um, Beautiful fern. You can 
a lot of these ferns will grow, grow if you haven't got them out on a um, patio which, or in the garden um, somewhere. Most of them are good in pots and hanging baskets, but they're nearly all really good in a bathroom if you want to put them in your, in your bathroom, especially the maiden hairs. This is, a, this is a good one in the bathroom for a while, although it'll get to about a metre tall um, later on. So, um, I showed you the, mic, um, the phallax, microsome phallax. Um, I'm not sure if we had volume then, so that this is the one that grows in a great big pot. On a, it's on a rhizome and it just gets bigger and bigger each year and the fronds will hang right out. It's a beautiful, beautiful fern. So most ferns come from rainforest areas um, in Australia, in well, Asia, South America, everywhere. But, um, so they're all sizes, from small to large. What else have we got here? And if you come down a little bit um, further, I'm just walking past. These are coming. These are interesting. They're coming up in our next uh, catalogue called uh, gourds. Um, very interesting plant to play with. Uh, they're great, great big melon-like um, fruits. That's, they're going to be in the catalogue coming out tonight. They're also um, very edible and uh, great medicinal. But fantastic thing to play with. And we've got three different ones, and you get different um, shaped vessels that you can decorate when when the uh, plant. Um, dies off you, you cut off this big long weird melon shape and uh, put some decorations on it or or um, play with it and sell it whatever you want to do with it so very interesting plant and a good fun plant Here's, this is one actually this is an we won't be selling these for a long time but this is an example of a, a uh, fern that you divide you can, it's a um, weeping boston Type fern. See how the babies come up through here. This is a variegated one, by the way. Yeah. So um, the mother plant's a beautiful plant. We're slowly we're taking the babies off them and uh, putting them putting them up. And uh, very interesting fern. The way the variegations are. So that's an example of a, a plant that you can grow by division. And one of my favourites. Not a fern, again, but these are in our. These are, are butylons. These are in our catalogue, and we're now selling this one as a collection. Some people may have the yellow one already from us, and you can put this one next to it with the red, and they really uh, go well together. You can get the big bell shaped flower. They seem to flower right through the year. We've got a couple in our backyard. That's a yellow one, and here's a, here's a red one there. Put the two together. Birds seem to love them, and uh, as I said, they're flowering all the time. So that's just another interesting one. This is the um, Impadiums um, Grand. Um, what are we? Grand Bolton um, Impadiums Grandis. It's a really unusual flower, and uh, we send them out about this size. So quick growing and quick flowering. Um, just looking a little bit further down. We've got some more of the values. Another one here, uh, Dryopteris Ludens. That's, a, that's got a ver uh, silver variegation in it as well. So I hope you enjoyed this um, short um, run through, walk through on our nursery. As I said, it's, we've got about 16 um, different areas that we can show you, and we'll do a different focus. Um, each time um, and it'll be every three weeks on Wednesday at two o'clock. We'll uh, just remember um, now we haven't decided what to what to do next time but there's plenty of plenty of choice. As I said our catalogue goes out um, tonight. Have a look. If you um, you might find a link there to our to our website. If if so have a look. Um, don't forget to if you enjoyed the um, Today's um, non-speaking venture. <laughs> if, if you enjoyed today's non-speaking venture, come again. And um, um, just um, if you can click like down the bottom if you liked it. If you didn't, bad luck. <laughs> but uh, please, um, please come again, and uh, we'll catch you next time. So.
Blake. Thank you, Blake.